Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? It's your boy. They ain't got the plan back in with another video. Today, we're going to talk about the signing of Philip Rivers. Hmm. Let me go ahead and just start off by saying, first of all, it's $25 million, fully guaranteed, one-year deal. And, you know, it's just... Everybody complained. They said, oh, my God, Jacob Brissett, he's just garbage. Everybody complained about it. But when you go out there and get an upgrade, people are like, oh, really? We got to go go sign him. But, bro, it's, first of all, let me just let y'all know, one-year deal. <laughs> one-year deal. So, 2021, not, not, this doesn't impact 2021. This only impacts 2020. So, and I've been here, and don't be surprised. We're most likely going to draft a quarterback, too. So, for all the people, that's what I'm just saying. It's just a perfect world, everybody. We draft, we uh signing Phillip Rivers to compete right now. And we still get to have, we still going to have a quarterback. Maybe Anthony uh, Gordon, Jalen Hurts, Jake. Well, actually, Jordan Love could fall to the second round. So, bro, so let's just get that out the way. We are lacking one particular piece. Now we do really need a wide receiver right now. So we're going to have to go in there in the second round and get us a wide receiver. But, you know, thing about wide receivers, it's so many of them in this draft. And it's going to be one that falls and. Don't nobody just look and say, oh, my God, who is this guy? Because, you know, it's a lot of receivers that can play in this draft. So, it's, I, I want to be honest, everybody that has need of receiver should get their feel this year. And I think, I'm not trying not to be funny, but I'm thinking they said next year is going to be a pretty good receiver. Well, I don't know. I know it's going to be one top guy in the next class. It just depends on see who comes out or whatnot. But I know it's going to be, for for a fact, it's going to be one good cut above guy. One first round guy. Or one early first round guy. So, <clears throat> that's the next couple of needs we need to get. But let me just break down Phillip Rivers and what I think about it. Phillip Rivers, he's a, you know, it's an upgrade. It's a guy that we can just have and take for this season, compete for a championship. And for anybody to say anything, this, this, everybody that came out and said this is the best offensive line he has ever, will, will ever play for. And then on top of that, he's got Jack Doyle, a reliable bet. Then he's got T.Y. Hilton, a reliable bet. Got Paris Campbell. Paris Campbell was a, uh, we really didn't see what Paris Campbell can do. But when Paris Campbell, when he get on the field and do his thing, he gonna be good. We got, uh, man, y'all know what I'm talking about. Can't think about his name right now, but y'all know what I'm talking about. The, the wide receiver, he showed out in preseason and in training camp. Oh, Darius Rowe. We got him. We got uh. Let's see. We got quite a couple people. They're not household name yet, but still, we probably can add one more guy there. But pretty much, our defense is just looking stacked right now. So yeah, he's coming to a team. We we trying to compete right now, and then we're gonna draft us a quarterback. So, because Chris Ballard want to be able to keep this thing moving. You know what I'm trying to say? He don't want to have to step in and do this and do that. He wants to keep this thing. He wants to be able to compete for right now because he know he looked at the draft. At 13, bro, we're probably going to end up with Jordan Love. So, most likely, Jordan Love, he wasn't going to start. Let's be honest, Jason Jake Eason, he's not going to start. Uh, Nick Fromm, I mean, Jake Fromm, he's not going to start. Uh, Jalen Hurts, he's not going to start. Anthony Gordon, those guys are not going to start. So, doesn't really seem like, but doesn't really seem like we made, this is a move that'll 
cancel out every other move. So for everybody that's out there just tripping, just go on ahead. Let's just see what happens. You know, let's put this puzzle together. Way out the, I don't know, really, we have to wait until the rosters get cut down. Well, no, nah, it will be. Let's just wait until after the draft. After the draft, maybe, give it two days after the draft. And then you look at that roster and then you tell me that you don't like it. Okay? That's all. I want to say what is good to have, oh, you know, have a veteran here at quarterback. I can throw the ball down the field. Phil Rivers, his arm is not like decreasing or anything. He still know exactly how to get the ball out. And we're going to run a quick set offense. So he's going to be getting the ball out real quick. And we just going to have to let our playmakers work. See, T.Y. Hilton, Paris Campbell, those guys are going to be running that thing. You see what I'm trying to say? And with the interceptions and stuff like that, he's going to greatly improve from throwing those interceptions is because once you come with Frank Wright, Frank Wright is going to build an A1 system around you. And you're going to have time to throw the ball. So it's not like it's not going to be one of those situations where you look, you're like, what? Yeah, you're going to have time to throw the ball. We got a good defense, and the defense is going to get you the ball back there. As a matter he's good for He's good for a turnover just about every other game. So that's what I'm just saying. And Kenny Moore, so, yeah, we're going to – our defense is going to be good enough to turn the ball back over and give it to us. So this is just a perfect situation. I'm pretty sure why nobody didn't know uh, <laughs> else thought about this. But, yeah, if I had to put a grade on the move, i probably, on the move, i probably say like a B-. minus. I mean, I don't know if we're going to win a Super Bowl out of it, but just as long as we're not the la laughing stock of the league. So, at least we're going to be the laughing stock of the league. People really don't fear Phillip Rivers like they once did, but he is. But I would just say, like, going into a game with Jacob Brissett versus Phillip Rivers, it's like day and night. At least with Phillip Rivers, people kind of look to the side and say, oh, y'all got Phillip Rivers? What? Yeah. All right, then y'all like, subscribe, turn the post on the case, and I'm out.